Now we're going to press 6 so that the text is sharp on it. There you go. And uh, generally the textures you want to keep are these two that have the Mayo logo. Because I guess they're the large ones or something. So we're going to just select all the other ones. Uh, and go edit. Select so objects with materials. Close that. And then Then you can grab this and move it out. There we go, computer took a while. Tap delete and grab the box here and select it just because there's a couple objects still left here. Delete that too. Now you're just left with this. So you want to select it. Go UV, UV editor. And you can see that it's down here where it should be up here so uh, right click UV shell and then select it again and then tap the up arrow uh, if that doesn't work go over to here and click on this transform box and make sure that this is set to 1.000 if it isn't uh, just like control Z so it's back to where it was Mo change that to 1.0 and then do it again um, so that's all good there. We can click there. Uh, we can deselect all. Um, then go back into Hypershade. Select those two. Delete. Model then turns green. Select it all again. Assign favorite material. Lambert. Uh, then you can click on Lambert up here. Just change the name like to like. Reach 1B. Actually, I might not like the dash. Just do that. And then go File, uh, Export Selection. Just call it UH 1B. We've already done this. Um, by default, it exports it to the C drive folder, which is kind of annoying, I think. So I just change it to my skin folder right here. Um, I'm just going to do it to here because I've already done one for the UH 1B. Export Selection. And if I go substance, Just go file, new, select in the folder right here. There it is. Uh, that one's another one I was doing. Um, it doesn't really matter what you change your re resolution to here because you can change that later. And I don't really know how to use substance yet, so I don't actually bother with any of this. I just hit OK. And then there it is. And uh, let's say you just want to, well, I mean, I don't really know how to use this, so I'm not going to make any tutorials for that. But some useful tools that I've found is this one here. You can select individual polygons in the mesh. And it can be really useful for part finding, actually, because uh, there's a bug where the UV doesn't show up here until you uh, use your scroll wheel or click. So say I want to know where this part is. We just click on it. And, well, I wasn't zoomed out enough, but uh, if I just click there... Okay, it's not working. I don't know why. I'm not going to bother with that. But anyway, that part is useful. Um, and obviously, just being able to paint on the model down here um, and putting on decals and stuff like that. So there we go.